Hello everybody, this is Brett here at PAX South 2020 and I am here with also Brett. Also Brett. Also Brett from Bolt Cut Studio. We just saw a lot of people hanging out at your booth for a game called Mage Quit. Tell me a little bit about what Mage Quit is. Yeah, so um, Mage Quit is a top-down wizard brawler for up to 10 players. Uh, you draft a new spell before each round. Every kill you get makes your beard longer. Wizard with the longest beard at the end of nine rounds wins. Yes, yeah. that's great. Very nice, succinct, I love it, it's, it's awesome. It's gone through a lot of iterations. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mage Quit is a great name, I, lo I love that game. Thank you. And uh, it's it's up to 10 players. Like that's, There's a lot of cool stuff happening in this. Um, mm. where, where did this idea come about? So there's actually a Warcraft 3 mod called Warlock that um, I used to play with my brothers and we, we played it a lot, we had a lot of fun with it, but there was nothing quite like it on like console or, you know, the, I, I felt like the game would have, would benefit from kind of like a party game makeover type of thing. Yeah. Um, Cause we only had, uh, I think between the four of us, we had four computers. So if we had people over, we were still kind of stuck with only four players. Right. Whereas if it's, if it's controller base, you can just keep hooking up controllers and keep yeah. adding players. That's where the core mechanic came from. Um, but on, uh, obviously we took some liberties with it. We added a few other things to the game, yeah. uh, made on our own. Yeah. yeah, you grow your beard, yeah. and the longest beard wins. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, like, where did that come from? We were just kind of like concepting wizards, and we yeah. had beards in there, and I just like it. Just sort of, I just did it. Yeah. I just like, I just added that, and then the, the beards were never really supposed to be part of anything, really. Yeah, that just sort of, I just like, I'd be funny if the beards grew the the, the longer or the more <laughs> kills you had. Yeah, and then I, so so obviously the kills is what makes you win, but right. the beard is just an aesthetic that we yeah. added. And then I was like, well, why don't we just say Longest Beard wins? That's yeah. a lot more catchy. Yeah. So uh, that's sort of how it came around. Um, I, it was just a thing I, I just randomly did while yeah. I was working on the game. And then it turned into a marketing pitch. Yeah. So. <laughs> Love how those happy accidents yeah. work yeah, out, you know? The game's gorgeous. It's a really cool looking thank art you. style and yeah. everything. Well, uh, my brother would say thank you to that. <laughs> It's just two of you right now, yeah, which is awesome. Us. Is this y'all's first game working together? It's our, yeah, it's our first published game. Um, we worked on a mobile platformer before it, but it was really bad. So, because uh, I, I mean, at the time, I didn't know anything about game design. He yeah. was just giving me art assets, and I was just slapping them into Unity. Yeah. And being like, what can I make this do? Yeah. And so, I, like, in the meantime, I read a bunch of books on game design, and then I was just, I was like, we can't release this. <laughs> Time to work on the next thing. What, what were some of the biggest challenges that y'all faced while putting this putting this together? Uh, so we launched an early access like three years ago. Um, discoverability as an indie is, is, I would say, one of the bigger challenges. Uh, but also, we realized fairly quickly that the game wouldn't be um, very viable if we left it as local only for yeah. multiplayer. So adding online. Um, and at the time when we released it, we had uh, 28 spells. We have 49 spells now, but at the time we had 28. And it was a local only, so I had to go back and rewrite all 28 spells to work over the network. <laughs> so that was a challenge. That yeah. was also a challenge. Um, if you're trying to retrofit networking into a, a local only game is not maybe not the best way to go about it. It was nice because we got the game in front of people faster and got feedback and motivation from people playing it. Um, but from like a technical standpoint, I'm definitely gonna want to start from the ground up with, with <laughs> uh, online multiplayer next time. Yeah. yeah. So I noticed it says uh, anonymous matchmaking. Can yeah. you party up with friends in any way to do that online? Or is it just uh, so uh, matchmaking do, anonymous? You can do either one or the other yeah. or a hybrid of the two. Um, okay. So we, we actually have two uh, anonymous matchmaking modes. There's, you can, um, you could like have a couple friends jump on with you. You could just jump into solo queue by yourself and play. Uh, you could have a couple friends join your party and then you all jump into to free for all queue. But then it limits your party to three because otherwise you could like team up on the other players, yeah. which no one wants. <laughs> right. um, but then we just added teams anonymous. So you could you could have a group of up to five people and then you would jump in. And if you had five people, it would it would match you in a 5v5 yeah. and you would play another five. So it's pretty chaotic with 10 people in that it is, smaller it is, arena, but it it's chaotic. awesome. It, it seems like uh, from what I've seen, people tend to stick to 3v3s online. Yeah. So. Um, those are a little bit more manageable. I think they're more they're more competitive. And yeah. um, when we we also host uh, tournaments online, oh, okay. which have been really fun. Um, we uh, we make it so the winners get like a unique cosmetic for the game. Oh, so yeah. we have like all these we have like a crown, like a golden crown, golden staff, and then the in person tournaments. We're gonna have one on Sunday too. Um, you get a golden beard for that one. Okay. So uh, there's one guy here who won the, the tournament here last year. He has won uh, the free for all tournament online, and he's won the three v three tournament online. So he has the trifecta. He's got the golden beard. He's got the staff. He's got the the crown. 
So he's been, he's actually, he's got, he went to all three PAXs in yeah. the U.S. last year, and he he made it to the finals in each of the our tournaments. So he's pretty hardcore. So you don't want to mess with him, basically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but cool. we just added uh, we just added the electric element to the game, right. and so he's he it's got him a little nervous because he's never played with it. Like he's he's yeah. just as fresh to it as everyone else is, so he keeps coming back and and practicing it. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about the different spells. Forty nine spells. It's a lot of stuff. It's so lot, yep. what uh. Like how varied are they, and how, how like where do those come, those ideas come from? So um, all over the place, really. Uh, so the the original twenty eight. So I borrowed some ideas from the original Warcraft three mod that the core mechanics of the game are based on. Some of them are completely original. Like there's one there's one spell where you throw you like throw a rock golem. If it hits somebody, then it chases them around for nine seconds, <laughs> which I don't think I've ever seen in any other game. But it's it. Everything in the game really is like. For the most part, skill shot based. Yeah. So you have to be able to land your uh, skill shots, which to me makes it really fun because people who are really good can continually land those, or they know how to dodge them. Right. You know, um, and then it just turns into a game of prediction. You know, which yeah. is fun. One of the new ones we added um, it's called Chain Lightning. It's the electric ultimate. Uh, it's a really long dash. If you hit someone, you basically bounce from character to character, chaining That's them cool. all together, and then they all get pulled back to like a generator that that spawned where you started your dash. Okay. So you could like you could hit everybody with it, pull them all to one spot. Um, <laughs> one of the guys who played yesterday, he he bought the game and then he went back to his hotel room and played it. He's he's like I played it for like four hours. Um, he's he was telling me that uh, on one level he somebody hit everybody, pulled them out into the water, and the shark came up and ate everybody. And I was what? like I've never seen that happen, but these spells are new, so I believe you. Uh, so that's that's one. Um, so I, I guess to answer your question. Um, some of the mechanics are borrowed from Warlock. Some of them are just completely original. Actually, a lot of them are completely original. Um, some of them are like, kind of like League of Legends. Uh, like, like we have a teleport and then a reverse teleport. That's like a LeBlanc teleport. Basically, we started with the with the twenty eight spells. Those are all pretty straightforward. That's why those are the four you start with, so people aren't too confused. Um, and then as we've added new elements, I've I've like tried to analyze what's from watching people play what people get. We get the most reactions out of, and then try to like analyze why. And what we found is uh, a lot of times people respond better to things that stay on the battlefield for a while because it, they can combine with other spells in weird ways. Yeah. Um, so like, so like there's a new spell that's a lightning bug that will like pull people in twice and then explode. <laughs> and so I, I've seen some just re like, I've seen lightning bugs like fight each other, like pull each <laughs> other back and forth. It's just like ridiculous stuff like that. And that's yeah. the kind of stuff people like to see. So that's really cool. Yeah. The uh, unexpectedness, I guess, is what. Yeah. What's the, really unique the about it is what is what, yeah. what I, they call that yeah. in uh, game design. So where can we find this game online? So it's on Steam, yep. and it's also on Xbox One. Okay. Um, we so obviously you can buy it through their storefronts. We also have if you go to magequit.com, we have some bulk deals on there. If you're going to buy it for your group of friends, you'd be able to save some money that way. Oh, awesome! Great work on the game. It's really exciting to see and. Uh, I'm gonna get some people together and like have some beers and play the game okay, and yeah. have a good time with it. So very cool. Congratulations awesome. and uh, Thank you. I'm glad uh, we share the same name because that's also <laughs> really cool. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you all for tuning in and watching and uh, make sure you check out Rage. Man, if you want to say Rage Quit? Mage Quit. <laughs> you know, it's, it's good though. That's a good thing. It's good. Yeah. Uh, Mage Quit, and uh, we'll catch you at the next video.